Captain's at the helm. Don't stay long. The crew's getting restless out there. What up, all? It's Arv here from Mindless Productions, continuing Assassin's Creed 4 100% Sync Guide. Alright, so the optional objectives for this mission are double assassinate Burgess and Cockrum, and free two groups of pirates. Both of them are relatively easy. Actually, the pirates is probably the hardest part. Uh, but we'll talk about the double assassination later. For now, we've got this. Um, quick note as you can see, I'm in a fight, it's okay to fight so long as you're not near the uh, groups of pirates. If you're too close to a group of pirates and you start a fight, then they'll kill the group of pirates before you can save them. So that kind of, you know, puts a kink in the plan. So feel free to fight, just uh, not around the pirates. And actually getting through this camp is relatively easy. Um, like I said, if you wanted to, since you're not really required to be stealthy, you can just charge in through the front door. Personally, I prefer to take a little bit more of a stealthy route. Head along the left side. Not up the building. There we go. There'll be one guard here, and then a couple guys hanging out at a uh, campfire. Well, I completely mistimed it and was noticed. Whatever, doesn't matter. You'd have to end up fighting them in a little bit anyway, so might as well get it out of the way. Alright, so with, the, with them down, you can actually just head that way, because that's where we're going anyway. I decided to take the long route. I don't know why. I'm an idiot. We'll just chalk it up as that. So yes, there's... Nothing on top of this building. And it doesn't go anywhere. So, yeah. You have to just drop down and head right where I was going anyway. Alright, so there's your first group of pirates right there on your left. Be mindful of the... Of the uh, guards walking up the path on the left. Or on the right there. God, my directions are off. Regain composure. Here we go. So yeah, be mindful of those guys. So like I said, it's okay to fight. Just don't do it too close to those pirates. And by too close, I mean within their little area. So when you come in here, there's going to be two gunners watching over them. And then a couple guys just kind of standing about. And there's one guy off to the right who's pacing. You can see him standing over there in the distance. So take out these. You're going to take out these two guys from stalking zones. 
And then you're going to focus on that guy pacing. Oh yeah, and there's a gunner. Forgot about him. So to do it stealthy, I decided to knock out those two guys. Kill him. Kill the gunners. And free the pirates. You should be able to do all that in plenty of time before uh, the gunner and the guard wake up. So there. One pirate down. One to go. Alright, so continuing on. Again, the pirates are going to be basically off to your left, if I remember correctly. I really should do my research before, you know, doing these voiceovers. But where's the fun in that? I like the surprise. Even though I've already played it once. Whatever, it made sense in my head. That's what counts. So yeah, up there on the left. I was right anyway. So, I started a fight. <laughs> Again, that's what a lot of, uh, a lot of this is going to be for me, is just fighting these guys. Because I suck at the stealth. I try, but I suck at it. <laughs> All right, and with them all down, let's go rescue these pirates. Sorry, I know there's not a whole lot to talk about right now, but there's so little time between each group, I figured just stay here and help you out. So sorry for the rambling, but here we go, actual important stuff. So, with that other guard uh, walking away, go ahead and take out the two gunners, and you can free the uh, pirates from there. And then you're set. Take out that, that guard uh, before he kills your pirates. But now that they're free, it's a lot less to worry about. But you still don't want them to get... You know, you still don't want them to be killed... Alright, and as always, if you need to, um, if you need more darts, like you can see there, I made me some more darts, just use uh, any animal bone that you may have saved up. Never sell animal bone, because it'll always come in handy somewhere. Alright, and here we are off to the final little bit. This is where we get to double assassinate uh, Burgess and... Cockrum. And it is actually... Uh, there is quite a bit of timing involved with it. So as soon as you jump down here... Yep, as soon as you end up down here... Um, it's going to start... Burgess and Cockrum, they're going to start walking around this little village. And then if you wait too long, they're going to walk through the village and out to their ship. Well, once they're out there... It's extremely difficult to get the double assassination. So here's going to be the easiest way. Just hang out in this hay barrel for a little bit. You're going to have this guy stop on your left. And then as soon as you take him out, head to the right and take out this guy by the uh, stalking zone. And just run straight ahead. And climb the buildings and then... We're just going to chill out on these uh, tree limbs here. So once you're up here, just wait. After a little bit of time, they're going to show up. Just mark them. Wait for them to come, be come below you. And it's game over. Boom. So that's 100%. As always, questions, comments, concerns, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, y'all.